Welcome to The Global Pulse, a short video series where our experts break down a trending topic in international business and why it matters to you. Recently, the United Arab Emirates experienced record flooding in cities such as Dubai that wreaked havoc on the small desert country, unfamiliar with handling the deluge that they witnessed. The magnitude of the flooding was extraordinary, with one city in the UAE seeing 10 inches of rain fall over a 24-hour period of time. That's well more than the country actually sees in a single year. This forced the main airport to close along with government offices, schools, and businesses for days while the water subsided. In the aftermath, this flood event has sparked a lot of interest in actually what may have been behind it. Now, some contend it was due to the country's cloud seeding program gone awry, but clear evidence of that has not been made apparent at this point. Others point to emerging El Nino patterns that can cause greater rainfall at times under the right conditions. And still others point to climate change as the underlying cause. Now, this event points to one of the biggest challenges facing us in the global ch climate change discussion. That is the difference between long-term climatological changes amplified by humanity and extreme weather events that at times pop up all over the world. The scientific evidence is clear that climate change is occurring. What we have more trouble in pinning down, however, is whether singular extreme events like the UAE flooding are directly attributable to climate change or anomalous weather patterns. Now, this uncertainty, unfortunately, can intensify climate change discussions by groups on both sides of the issue, pointing to individual events as evidence of climate change or simply extreme weather. And that, unfortunately, can turn climate change quickly into a political hot button issue. Events like the UAE flood, if anything, reminds us of how, despite our monumental technological advancements, nature is a force to be reckoned with, at times catching us off guard when we are basically most vulnerable. Moreover, we're seeing more of these types of events, whether wildfires, increased tornadic activities in unusual locations, chronic drought in large areas, or back-to-back -back cyclones, or other types of natural hazards, there really is no escaping changes in our environment. In the U.S. alone, NOAA reports that the number of billion-dollar disasters is steadily increasing, with 28 of those occurring in just 2023 alone. Globally, we must recognize that whatever we want to call our changing planet's conditions, that some combination of resilience, mitigation, and adaptation will be critical to the long-term sustainability of the human race. We at the Smith Enterprise Risk Consortium are working with the banking, investment, and insurance community to work on developing effective financial solutions to combating climate risk. Some of these include understanding the impacts of climate risk on our most vulnerable segments of society, including low and moderate income and minority households, developing more robust measures for estimating climate risk for financial institutions, and developing ways for science and finance to leverage each other's data and models to more accurately assess the risk to individuals, business, and society at large.